Are you ready? Yeah. All ready. All Here right, go. guys. Go for it. Yes, dude. <laughs> Look at Pop those. bottles. We're gonna make them fly. Are these anybody's? Nope. They're ours now. <laughs> Josh and I are gonna have a competition making pop bottles into airplanes. Mm. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going for simple, but also I'm going for what I used to do when I was a young kid. I didn't have a lot of money. I would take pop bottles and any kind of scraps I could get to get free flight gliders and, and anything that would go through the air. Later on, I started putting RC on it, and one of my earliest memories of a pop bottle plane was actually to put an 049 on the front cap, and then I balsa built wings and a pod and boom. I'm gonna do that exact same design. I'm gonna use my favorite local restaurants and just basically garbage. I don't wanna use balsa, but I don't wanna use anything that you can't find or haven't come across almost on a daily basis. So when it, to have lunch today at uh, my favorite pizza place and I got a couple boxes ate some pizza and now I'm gonna go ahead and take life water and I'm gonna turn that bottled water into the fuselage and then I build the wings and control surfaces all out of cardboard from a pizza box my hope is at the end of the day this thing's not only gonna fly good but it's gonna look good Josh is gonna make one that flies well right yeah. I mean it's Josh it's always. Always. so I gotta be the one that just I like your takes, thinking yeah, yeah take I like next level thinking. I like it so twin boom and then, right? Yeah. And then this might be my elevator. My, my elevator in the middle you, and my vertical stabilizer. Yes, a little pointy nose to fight through the, uh, the air, very aerodynamic. It's all about the visuals and then the flight characteristics are second. <laughs> Secondary. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the materials I have, which is my water bottle and these pizza boxes, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the wingspan I want and the control surfaces. Now, if you're designing at home, the wingspan and the tail, generally, I start about one third the size of the wingspan for the tail, but when you go small airplanes, the control surfaces oftentimes are designed too small. You need to make them bigger for stability. So for this case, I'm gonna use this uh, three pack pizza box, and I'm gonna use a single pizza box for my tail assembly. My goal is no internal carbon fiber. I wanna go ahead and fold this together so it is 100% carbon fiber using shapes like triangles and boxes. Yeah. What do you think about this then? What? Instead of cutting the wings, what if you just flat? Take the air out. Make them, make them as flat as possible. Dude. I think you might be right. <laughs> Beautiful, dude. That, I mean, that is a one serious <laughs> airport. Swing. Josh is gonna come in and be like, what, what? <laughs> what are you doing? For me, it's, it's not just about making something that flies well. I mean, there are projects where you wanna do that. I love the challenge. I, I like to push myself. And when you're doing this kind of thing, you have to own that failure is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So like, I learn more when I fail oftentimes than when I succeed. So the if I thing... can fail epically about with this, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And Josh is gonna be successful, I'm sure. Right? So really cool thing about cardboard, you don't need to cut it and piece it all together. You can use your fingernail or something dull and you can crease and fold and notch just like you do with foam board. But I'm gonna use it on our cardboard. Are you gonna use that? Please? It almost looks like an elevator, right? That's what I thought. Oh, I geez. thought you made it instead of No, right. oh my gosh. I didn't think about that. Bob, I'm stealing that idea. That's a perfect elevator. I thought that's what you cut it that way. Ha, no, that's no. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Lord, that could be a perfect elevator here then. All right, one last step here. We are going to go ahead and glue down the trailing edge. This wing's gonna have just a little bit of under camber in it. Under camber is gonna increase the drag, but it's gonna greatly increase the lift. That was my goal with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that down like this. So if we can get this to fly, one thing I think it would be really cool, I haven't gotten to fly much FPV lately. I wanna go ahead and add a little tiny uh, FXT805, it's our little Gremlin uh, camera slash video transmitter all in one at 25 milliwatts. It's awesome just to plug and put whatever you want, whether it's an RC car, whether it's a DIY plane, or whether it's a, uh, a little tiny uh, Gremlin. So I'm thinking it'd be really cool to make this kind of like a reconnaissance drone built out of garbage. So the first thing we gotta do is make it fly. The wing's now done. You can see my little under camber right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. I'm gonna work on my tail surface. And, and like I said, generally I start with about one third the size of my wing. I can always make it smaller if I need to, but uh, if you ever seen any of my designs, they look like flying cartoons. It seems like a bigger control surface in the back. It's always easy to trim off, but if it's too small, it just simply won't fly right. All right, it's taking shape. I think I'm actually gonna go with two motors like that. These bottles will help give this joint some stability. And then with two motors, I can have what's called differential thrust. So one motor can go faster than the other to help the plane steer, and then I won't need a rudder. So I can do less control surfaces, less servos, that kind of thing. So I have discovered that on the thinner part of the pop bottle, the hot glue really melts and starts to crinkle it, deshaping it from what I want. I've developed this new technique at the butt. It's much thicker plastic and it doesn't deform. The glue can cool enough to where it adheres and doesn't just make it go bleh. So as I'm gluing this like that, I will put the glue on the thick part of the plastic first, let it cool maybe 30 seconds or so, and then kind of work this in so this doesn't just go bleh. We'll give it a shot. So Josh always says, more glue does not equal more strength. And that is generally true but when you're building bridges out of glue, more glue does make it stronger. Oftentimes people think that we immediately design like how long uh, or short coupled a plane will be. Oftentimes it's based around your limitations. So here's my triangle. It's very, very light, uh, sub one ounce. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use this now for strength on my elevator. And I'm gonna put this at a 90 degree angle and then I'm gonna run that right underneath my wing. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my throws or my moment so everything will hopefully balance out right. So I'm gonna leave this long until the very end and then I'll go ahead and cut it once we figure out where the balance is gonna be. I'm getting excited because this thing is looking ready to fly. But before I do that, I want to say thank you to the sponsor of this video because they helped make this project possible. Gunship Battle Total Warfare. And when they say total warfare, they mean it because you get to fight on land with tanks, at sea with ships, and in the air with sweet jets. This is a free downloadable strategy game for your phone. You build an armada and battle real time, player versus player, with other admirals around the world. You can also create or join alliances. So there's literally endless strategies for assembling an unstoppable force. This game is really fun. We have links down below. If you click those specific links, you are supporting our channel by playing this game for free, which is win-win. And right now, I'm gonna get back to building a pop bottle plane. So I am uh, finishing up here with the airframe. I just wanna show you what I got here. Here is our main pod, boom, the wings, the ailerons are on now. So now the only thing separating me from making this plane fly is I gotta drink one quart of water. I don't drink water at all like i've gone weeks without drinking water and i've lived on a steady diet of coffee and coffee and then a little bit of more coffee my wife is going to be really happy right now it's essentia not a sponsorship but this is why i picked this water because it's an awesome looking bottle it's it's a little bit denser you can actually cut these and make really cool canopies out of it yeah just keep going dude yeah. <laughs> what do you think i am in a frat <laughs> <laughs> i can't take you serious right now <laughs> Can you play catch with me? I can play catch. The funny thing is, is literally you're you're seven feet from me building this. And I look over like, that's pretty cool. But what do you put? <laughs> Let's weird. go play catch. We're gonna go play catch. My goal for this toss okay. is that it not break into a million pieces and it's already reacting to the cold. Is that what I hear? Yeah. It's, a little <laughs> <laughs> so, it's already shrinking. So think about this, smooth plastic, hot glue, cold temperatures, it's gonna be epic. All right, we gotta throw this right now. Right, and I, and gotta, I gotta catch it every time. There's a GoPro on the end, so number one, watch out for your safety. All right. Moment of truth, dude. This, this is like, it's, be it. no, this no, is like the flight it. right now. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> my, leg goes, 
That's gonna float. It, I'm not gonna throw it again. It's, it's, it's power and awesomeness is gonna make this fly. How could it be aerodynamic? Let's get this baby warm. Great job, buddy. I mean, no matter what, we're all gonna have sore tummies from laughing so hard. That's right. So you're a winner. I know I get ahead of myself. We haven't even test flown this, but I wanted this to be DIY recyclable drone. So what we did is we actually have these 3D printed camera mounts for our FXT 805. It's a micro cam video transmitter all in one, and it just pops in. Now the cool thing about this is we created this because we needed to, and this goes in all of our gremlins, but you guys can create this too. We actually designed this on Fusion 360. Now I'm new to Fusion 360. Chad Lewis designed this and he did a great job with it, but I'm learning more every day, and they have so many awesome videos where you can go down and learn one technique after another. And uh, right now I'm in the sketching process. With flight tests, one thing we're really passionate is obviously getting you flying and getting you building, but we also want you to be creating too. The neat thing about Fusion 360 and 3D printing is you can really, if you can imagine it, you can draw it. So we actually have two links down below for you. One is a trial, one is a subscription link. You guys can check that out and create and design and also do crazy projects like this. I gotta get ready for the cold. Is that Stefan? Hey guys. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> We're gonna throw yours first because I think yours is gonna fly no problem. I'm not gonna take it for granted, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So. And then we're gonna go up and chuck mine off the dirt pile and <laughs> see what happens. I love it. So you, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm excited. Honestly, this is a blast from the past. This is kind of like what I used to do. I didn't really do anything original that we haven't done before, but the fact that it's out of pizza boxes, it was my friend, that makes it special. So uh, we'll see how it flies. All right, you ready? I, I'm looking forward to this. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See, there, Lord. I told yes. you. I told you it'd fly perfect. <laughs> well, oh, turn. There you go. Oh, oh, that was close. Whee! Now, I think we're gonna have to uh, go to the judges on this one because <laughs> yes, it flies immaculately, but the concept was we were gonna make a pop bottle pop fly. Pop bottle plane, yeah. And it's mostly pizza box. It's mostly pizza. I like and pizza. Then you don't have a pop bottle on it. It's a water it's a bottle. bottle. Well, my wife had an intervention with me, so don't, yeah. so don't, don't hold me against that. But well, yeah, I you're right. I did not drink any of the pop that went into mine. So well, and here's the thing: is is I I miss like when we did the pizza box plane. I miss not doing more designs, and I loved how many different people in the community were building these. And also in countries where a lot of these materials aren't available. It was awesome to see young men and women just creating, designing, and taking on gravity with what they had. So, yeah, I kind of bent the rules and frankly... <laughs> we'll let you get away with All it because right, cool. it's fun. Yeah, there you go. It flies good. Yeah, and even if we don't do a build video for this or we're not going to do a build video on my plane, let's face it. <laughs> uh, we have tons of build videos and tech tips, resources, everything that you need to know to get learning how to fly and get in the air. And he's coming in for a landing. There it Nicely is. Nicely done, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're ready to uh, fly I'm excited. This thing? You know what, if it's balanced and it's, it'll happen. It, it's, it's, it's gonna go into the air. We just don't know how long it'll you, be there. You know what, it's not this that's sketchy. It's climbing that hill with the snow that's sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. There, bud. Go up these ice covered boulders. Yeah. Uh. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Did you want me to fly this? Um, I'd say this has a 35% chance of flying. With me at the controls, it has probably a 10% <laughs> chance of... It has a 100% chance of crashing with me at the controls. Yeah, I, you know what? I think we'll both be able to fly it. You know what? If it balances and things move properly, you never know what will happen. Okay, you know. pass the transmitter if it's going well. Are you ready? Alrighty. Alright, guys. Go for it. <laughs> it was falling with style. I mean, this isn't flying, this is falling with style. Buzz Lightyear said it right, dude. I was I, I had it in my mind that something other than that was gonna happen at least for a second. But you know what, dude? That's the farthest any 100% pop bottle plane has ever flown in the history of man. <laughs> yes, and it you is. should be proud of yourself. That, Good job. Yeah, thanks. I would be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed, but I've learned a lot from this. Like, I needed to put more control services on there so we didn't just flip upside down. I think it could have flown further. And you know, flight itself can be a small portion of this hobby. The building 
and creating of something new, inventing something that can go into the sky is so rewarding. Here's the moral of the story here is we love creating and dreaming. We want you guys to do the same. Yeah. Dream big, even if it involves crashes, have fun with friends and make a memory. We'll see you next time.